My name's Nina and I'm from Romford in Essex. The diagnosis, so my son Oscar, who's 12 years old, he's got Duchenne muscular dystrophy. He was diagnosed six years ago when he was six. Um, he wasn't running as fast as other children. Um, he was delayed with his speech. Um, so we took him to a um, children's service clinic. Uh, they suggested to have a blood test, um, the creatine canass. It came back later that day and it was 12,000. And I'm really, it should only be a few hundred. Um, the doctor there then thought it was a neuromuscular condition. They repeated a blood test a few days later and um, it, we, was ta uh, we had to be seen by Great Ormond Street Hospital. They said it was definitely going to be um, muscular dystrophy. I just wasn't sure what one, but to expect the worst. He had a um, muscle biopsy two months later. Um, we got the news a few, few weeks later that it was Duchenne and the only treatment was steroids. Um, we started the steroids treatment a couple of months later um, and daily stretches. Um, he, on, on the steroids, he was terribly behaved, very emotional, and there was a lot of weight gain. Um, and then we found a lady that dealt with alternative medicine. So it was changing his diet, having an organic diet, gluten and dairy free. Um, so he lost a lot of weight and he was taking vitamins and nutrients. Um, took him off the steroids um, and he, he, did, he did improve. It seemed to keep things at bay for a while. And then this year when it was locked down, he'd, um, he'd put on a lot of weight and you could see he, he was slowing down, couldn't get up off the floor on his own. Um, took him to see the lady again for alternative medicine. She said that she felt she couldn't do any more and she suge suggested stem cell treatment. So in August this year, um, I'd done a bit of research, found a few clinics, but we was really drawn to Swiss Medica. I spoke to um, a man on the phone, I think, I believe he was in Zurich, and he said they thought they could help. Could we send a video, which we did. I was in regular contact with him. Um, um, we, yeah, so it was either here or Serbia, in Moscow or Serbia. Um, if I'm honest with you, I, I preferred to have gone Serbia because to come Moscow, um, you had to get a visa um, and have the COVID test, where it seemed a little bit, quite a lot involved. Um, but they, they chose Moscow. Um, so here we are. So we looked on the research it a bit on the internet and it does look how it says, you know, the pictures are all the same. Um, but I've got to say, the people here are lovely, so friendly. Um, the doctors are amazing, um, the nurses, the chef as well. He um, asks what we want for breakfast every day. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, lovely place. And there's a lady here, Elizabeth. I don't actually know what she does, but she picked us up from the airport. Um, it, as soon as we got off the aeroplane, it was, it was all smooth running. She, she had her name, she sorted out picking us up. Um, she took a sightseeing on Tuesday because I didn't think we'd see any of Russia. I thought we'd basically be stuck in the room. And we um, went to Red Square, done a lot of sightseeing, a bit of shopping. So yeah, it's lovely. No problem at all with um, communication. A couple of the nurses don't speak a lot of English, um, but the doctor, there's two doctors here that are fluent in English. Um, one of the doctors who does the physio, he doesn't speak much, but they, they um, translate everything. So there's no problem with them understanding. Oh, the condi oh yeah, very clean. I've got to say, I had a picture of Russia. I hope you, I don't upset you. I had a picture of Russia because of the media at home. I didn't think it was going to be how it is. It, it's so clean here and the country is, is, is so clean. Moscow itself is very, very clean. And here it's spotless. Every day we're chucked out of our room so they can give it a good clean. Yeah, very, yeah, very clean. Okay, so um, he's, my son started his treatment on Monday. He had an intravenous um, stem cell treatment. Um, it was a, a needle, heavy, um, yeah. And uh, my son said it wasn't painful. Um, he's quite good with needles anyway. Um, that was fine. And then yesterday he had um, intramuscular um, injections. He found them quite painful, um, especially the legs. Um, but he was a superstar and and got on it because he knew it was going to benefit him. Yeah, we have. Um, every day he's had a massage, a full body, back and leg massage. He's loved it. 
um, Eugene, who does that love. He doesn't speak English, but he's a yeah, lovely man. Um, and he's done physiotherapy every day, like extensive physiotherapy. We do stuff at home, and the stuff that um, he's done here is nothing like we, we've done at home. So we've got new stuff to um, make him stronger in the parts that are a little bit weaker. Oh yeah, I just want to add that all the staff here are, are, are lovely. Um, they've listened to all the concerns. They've not promised anything, but they've advised us um, what to do um, to how we can help for the stem cells um, to improve his life. And everyone here is, is a lovely place. Mm -hmm.